We are still just solving equations as we've done before, so a lot of this information will be the same. To solve equations means to find the solution value that makes the equation true. The equation is solved when the variable is alone on one side of the equation. What's new is that the variable will now be on both sides of our equation. When the variable is on both sides, Use the additive inverse to combine the variable terms on one side. So we have the variable term on both sides. Our goal is to bring the variable term to be on only one side. Or you can also think about it as we want to eliminate the variable term from one of the sides. And we're going to use the additive inverse to get that done. So in our example equation up above, to get rid of a positive 3x, we subtract 3x from both sides, and that will get rid of the x term from this right side, leaving the variable term on the left side. And when the variable term is on one side, now this equation is like equations we have solved before in the past. Subtract 2 from both sides to get rid of the numeric term, Divide by 2 on both sides to isolate the variable, and we are now solved. But in this lesson, we're really going to focus on when we start with the variable on both sides, making sure that we bring the variable term to one side, or also think about it as eliminate the variable term from one side, so that we're working with the variable only on one side of the equation. Let's check for understanding. Which is the additive inverse? that will combine the variable terms on one side. How do you know? Here's our equation. Positive 4x plus 3 equals 2x minus 1. So variable term on the right side, variable term on the left side. A subtract 2. B subtract 2x. Or C add 2x. Blank is the additive inverse that will combine the variable terms on one side because... B. Subtract 2x. Subtract 2x is the additive inverse that will combine the variable terms on one side because subtracting 2x from both sides will remove the 2x from the right side. So here is our target, 2x, and if we subtract 2x to both sides, that will remove the term from this right side, leaving us with only the x term on the left side, and we now have the variable term on one side.